few years ago, the toughest agency in the world, without a doubt, was the Secret Service. They will predict your moves before you even think of it. Alpha 1, Karen looks like she had eggs for breakfast and she had too many ice creams now. Karen heading into the bathroom in 15 seconds. God forbid, a few years ago, if you attempt to see the president speak and you even think of an assassination, a metaphor in your head, He's reaching! He's reaching! Pa pa pa! Long story short, they were the toughest. But after the donkey show that happened in Pennsylvania a few weeks ago, after that donkey tried to unalive Mr. Orange, they went from the top all the way to the bottom. They were the special agents of the Secret Service. Special had a very strong meaning, a very strong word behind it. Oh my god, look at this person! So special! But now when you say special agent from the Secret Service, you are going to be treated, oh, you're so special! bless you and just when you thought things were at the worst of the worst well things just got worse after trump's last night campaign event in north carolina secret service agent left the post to breastfeed during trump's campaign event the secret service detail that's guarding former president donald trump so this coming from real clear politics reporting that a female secret service agent abandoned her post in north carolina to breastfeed her baby during Trump's visit yesterday to the Tar Heel State. The report says about five minutes before Trump's motorcade arrived, the site agent who manages security for the entire event did a final sweep of the location. And while walking the route, the site agent reportedly found the Secret Service special agent in question breastfeeding with two other family members present in a room that's supposed to be set aside for official business like an emergency involving the president. The report says the special agent did not have permission to leave her post and gave no warning prior to the event that she needed personal time. Now, if you work from home, you work in an office, you have a corporate job, maybe it's still a very unprofessional thing to do. But imagine you're a Secret Service agent where you're supposed to guard the president make sure everything is fine they did they made sure everything is fine but five minutes to go until the president arrives without telling anyone decided to go in a high-end room where presidents and high people sit over there and have discussions and decide to breastfeed now this breastfeeding isn't really the problem is the problem is the secret service agent who are supposed to throw their lives in the line of the president decided to leave her post without telling anyone to go breastfeed now family always comes first your child always comes first but not when it comes to secret service job you're supposed to throw your life in the line and protect and be aware 24 7 and never leave your post imagine the president gets into a shooting and they're like where's karen where where, where is karen she gets on a mic two more minutes tss, tss, tss. now i'm pretty sure being a secret service agent if you want to pee even you have to hold it in you have to suck it up until you get sick and you look around sometimes you should even have i think they have these bags on in their legs in case they have to go really really bad they pee inside that bag because of how aware they need to be of the situation now i don't know if she was new maybe she was she hasn't made any statement but guess who did secret service because this whole thing went viral and we heard from a whistleblower if you will a counter sniper saying he was worried there could be another attack imminently as all of these campaign events the calendar intensifies here leading up to the november elections and here's the response i just received from the u.s secret service spokesperson it is saying all employees of the u.s secret service are held to the highest standards while there was no impact to the north carolina event the specifics of this incident are being examined. Given this is a personnel matter, we are not in a position to comment further. The Secret Service PR team are definitely not getting paid enough for covering up all this shit because this isn't the only incident. We had the Trump on a living attempt. We had the Secret Service agent who couldn't put her gun back in the same place that she drew it on. We had the Secret Service agent who was supposed to put herself in front of the president to protect the president with her life but instead she decided to go behind trump and pretend like she's protecting trump by being behind trump and just hiding down there we had the secret service agent that shit her pants at the new jersey event i mean props to her for standing still and just you know protecting the president no matter the smell and there's this video going around as well where the secret service broke into the massachusetts 
hair salon doing a Kimala event. They covered the cameras with duct tape and broke inside to use the bathroom. So imagine going to a business, closing up the business, not because they took the president there until backup arrives, take them to a safe place, but it was an emergency situation indeed. Taking a big fat juicy shit, closing up the business and leaving the business unlocked without even realizing that the camera was recording from before and they literally broke the law in front of millions hundreds of millions of people and the secret service spokesperson said that all employees of the u.s secret service are held at the highest standards 100 percent, i agree with you mr mr or mrs spokesperson while there was no impact in the north carolina event so yes we fucked up secret service agent left her post and literally uh, presidents uh, there was a blind side in presidents and anyone could have taken that chance but hey, no one took that chance. So why don't we all calm down? If a person came with another sniper in her spot and, you know, pew pewed Mr. Trump, then we would talk. It's not, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Calm down. What are you talking about? Is it, this is bad. This is like if you work in a carnival and you fuck up with some buttons and that person almost flew off the tra train ride, whatever they were going. And then once they get off, they go all angry at you and they're like, what? You didn't die. If you would have died, then we would have, like, spoke about it. So calm down. It's not that serious. And an update about the Trump's situation day where I covered a couple of videos about Trump. We covered that the director of Secret Service, when she came out and gave an excuse why there was no sniper on that rooftop, that 20-year-old donkey decided to take shots at... She said that the roof was too slippery. That's why. You know, the toughest Secret Service agents are scared of a slippery they were gonna fall slip you know and they're gonna break their backs so i don't want to risk my agents on that and there was a footage that came out that you know the police went up they saw the shooter they jumped down they run run away there's so many updates to the situation but a major update was i think two three weeks ago the director of secret service decided to quit decided to resign i'm pretty sure they made her to resign because at the beginning she said that she does not want to resign I think a better person with a better strategy needs to come forward with this because if the sniper is point seeing a guy for three to four minutes that a guy is pointing at Trump and the director is saying, hold your fire. It's obviously a direct job. We're not donkeys. We know that it was like an inside job. Corruption is everywhere. But if she was going to like do it like an inside job, but like a very clean one, she did a horrible job. I just bring someone who can cover their tracks. And a lot of people are yapping about the fact that the reason Secret Service Agency is going downhills and it's a big joke is because they're hiring female agents. I don't know about that. I know females who can beat me, you, uh, three more people and make us look like donkeys. But I also know females who can't handle, you know, a jujutsu class or a wrestling class or, you know, self-defense themselves. I believe anyone can be secret service agents as long as they are qualified. Do not bring people just because you want to show diversity. Females can do anything they want. Yes, you can do it, but if you are qualified in this situation, if you're willing to risk your life, and if you're willing to wait a couple of hours before you breastfeed your child, you have to think of how important this job is first. I'm honestly surprised that the cancel culture hasn't canceled anyone for speaking against this secret agent. She can do this because she is a mother first, and, you know, if the president comes in and she screams occupied, but the president kicks her out while she's breastfeeding, the president is an evil person. I'm honestly surprised no one is speaking about that. Everyone is absolutely against this whole situation, which is a first. Let's see how the Secret Service is going to go forward with this. This is absolutely entertainment for me to read and watch and share it with you. I'm 100% sure there's going to be more news coming up with the secret service uh, trying to do secret things but then failing but because they are on camera and they're being captured and the secret service maybe isn't all secrety and in the shadows after all they are breastfeeding in the presidential emergency room anyways just thought this whole thing was funny and yeah i just wanted to share it with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself if you enjoyed the video like it subscribe it i'll catch you at the next one